CNN has learned that President Trump attempted to persuade two of the nation's top intelligence officials to issue public statements knocking down the probe into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. Joining us now are lawmakers from both parties. We have Representative Pramila Jayapal. She's a Democrat on the Judiciary Committee and Representative Jim Banks. He's a Republican from Indiana. He's on the Armed Services Committee. Thanks very much to both of you. Yeah. Bipartisan show of support tonight for us. Uh, if I could begin with you, Congresswoman, what's your reaction to our reporting as first reported by the Washington Post tonight that President Trump made calls to, to Admiral Mike Rogers, uh, Dan Coats, the director of national intelligence, in effect asking them to knock down uh, evidence in this investigation? I think it's incredibly troubling. I think it continues a stream of events. I feel a little bit like I have whiplash going from one story to the next, but all of them point to this president trying to interfere with an investigation. And I think that's extremely disturbing. I, I, you know, I think that we are looking to try to get to the bottom of this. Obviously, there's the special counsel investigation, but we also in Congress have authority over these matters. And so the question, and I think you were discussing it earlier, is what kind of information can we get as we start to look into all of these issues. You use the word interference. Is it obstruction of justice? I think if it's true, it is. I do believe it's obstruction of justice. We have to prove intent. That is a part of obstruction mm -hmm. of justice. Um, but the more that the, we have these stories, the more it seems like intent is there. It is clear, you know, perhaps one conversation is troubling enough, but you have him calling now two intelligence uh, director, intelligence agency directors, and I think you start to get into this is a person who is determined to try to stop any investigation into uh, Michael Flynn. And that is, you know, I think if, if for nothing else, he should understand that this would be very bad optics. But that's in a best case scenario. And, and I have to ask you, Congressman Banks, because you're a veteran, and, and this report would essentially mean that he was ordering a uniformed Navy Admiral, Mike Rogers, to, to basically tamp down an investigation. What do you make of that? Well, if these allegations are true, they, this would be a, a pattern of, of a number of troubling allegations. But I think Republicans and Democrats are unified on Capitol Hill to uh, support the, the Mueller investigation, uh, his independence, his integrity that he's brought and credibility that he's brought to the investigation, along with the congressional uh, investigations in the House and the Senate. Let's let those investigations do their do their work, their due diligence before we make irrational uh, statements about uh, anything further than that. I'm, I'm content in, right. in allowing the investigations to work their way through the process. So you see, if these allegations are true, but but then what? What do you mean by that? If what if they are true? I well, mean, if they are, then then we need to take we need to take action and, and deal with them appropriately. If not, then and, these and are. And what would that action what, be? What would, what would be? Well, I, you know, I, I'm I'm content in waiting for the investigations to work through the process to make statements about what hypothetically what should happen uh, following that. I think it's important and and entirely uh, entirely appropriate for members of Congress to allow the investigations to work their way through the process before making statements about what might or might not happen hypothetically. But let me ask you this, because it gets down to, to what is the standard here. If it is proven to be true that the President of the United States called on his director of the FBI and then director of two of the intelligence agencies mm -hmm. and told them to stop an active investigation, would that to you Let's forget the legal terminology for a moment, obstruction of justice, but, but would that to you be undue interference? Oh, there's, in no, there's no question. There's no question. These allegations are serious. Mm -hmm. they, they undoubtedly will be a part of Director Mueller's uh, independent investigation as well as the investigations in the House and the Senate. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I believe it's, it is it completely responsible and appropriate for members of Congress to allow the investigations to work their th way through the process before addressing hypotheticals about what comes And, what and that comes brings to the next question, because you do have this special probe, a special counsel, Robert Mueller, who is taking over uh, the investigation. I was talking to one official who said, you know, it's concern on his part that you have these two investigations on Capitol Hill where they're calling witnesses to testify, including James Comey, and how that could sort of interfere with what he's trying to do. How is this going to work? It is a challenging situation. I, we saw just a tiny hint of it when Rod Rosenstein came and, and spoke to us mm -hmm. in the classified briefing. There wasn't much that was classified there, but I would say that one of the things that was very frustrating to many of us in the room were, um, was when we were just trying to get information about why he wrote the memo. Why, when did he write the memo? Why did he write the memo? Did he just wake up one day and say, hey, it'd be great to write a memo? Or did somebody actually come to him and ask him to write it. If that was the case, did he know that it was going to be used in a way? You didn't get satisfying answers other, to those questions. He didn't answer any of those mm -hmm. questions, and he, he directed that 
um, to the fact that that Mueller is going to be doing the investigation. We need to wait. But, you know, there are competing priorities here, not competing priorities, but there are parallel priorities. Let's say that that Congress has an oversight authority. We should be able to continue to investigate as this goes forward. And while it's true that we want to wait for the facts to emerge, we can't afford to wait a long time, particularly with uh, story after story emerging. This latest news, I think, is is extremely distressing. And of course, another big headline that came out today is the fact that that Michael Flynn, Flynn will invoke his Fifth Amendment rights in response to subpoenas uh, from the Senate Intelligence Committee. Uh, this is what President Trump said during the campaign about those who take the fifth. Let's listen. She has people taking the Fifth Amendment. Four people plus the guy who illegally did the server. You know, he put it in the illegal server. So there are five people taking the Fifth Amendment, like you see on the mob, right? You see the mob takes the Fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Okay, so Congressman mm. Banks, uh, if General Flynn is innocent, why is he taking the Fifth? Well, I can't, I can't say or defend or not he is innocent, mm -hmm. but that, again, will be a part of the investigation. What do you make of the by, fact he's taking the fifth? Uh, it's troubling, and it's a, it's a part of a troubling series of of, uh, of, of actions by by Mr. Flynn, and uh, it, it, mm -hmm. it 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 again uh, foreshadows, I think, a, a troubling pattern of behavior that we've seen in recent weeks. Uh, I want to ask about your because, of course, we've heard many Democrats in public criticize the president's behavior here. It's only in the last week or two where I speak, speaking to folks on the Hill, Republicans who at least privately, some publicly, but but many more privately, who say, "Listen." This is getting to a different level. Uh, Wide-eyed was the way one Republican lawmaker described it to me last week. Do you sense a change in the last week or two about the level of concern from inside your own caucus? A, a concern in whether or not we will fulfill a, an agenda that we all set out to fulfill at the beginning of the Congress. I ran for Congress last year. I'm a freshman on Capitol Hill to address the big issues of the day. And as we get caught up in the frenzy over uh, each uh, uh, breaking news item from day to day re uh, related to the administration, it, it is definitely a distraction from our ability to do that. But so. is it more but of a distraction? Right. You? Are, are you becoming concerned and, and other fellow Republicans concerned that the president did something here that, that requires a remedy, right, that, that, that may have crossed a line? It, again, it's irresponsible to say too much more without allowing the investigation to work its way through the process. That's why mm -hmm. I, I, I believe it's important to allow uh, uh, Director Mueller to do his work, allow the congressional uh, committees to do their work before uh, before before speaking anything, saying anything further about what hypothetically should come next. So, Congresswoman, this could take a while for these investigations to wrap up. What would you like to see in the meantime? Well, I think we would like to see, you know, each of these roles has a slightly different charge. A special prosecutor, special counsel has a different charge. Um, we have also been calling for an independent uh, commission, sort of like 9 a 9 11 style, con sure. commission that would be made up of citizens that could actually look at this, uh, what's happening not only in the short term but in the long term. And then we would like to have the information right away around the memos, around some of the answers. And, you know, I think it's a little bit more than a distraction. I really do. I understand the challenges of trying to implement an agenda for the majority party, but we're talking about the sanctity of our democracy. And to me, that is, um, that's really what's at stake here. So it's more than a distraction. Mm -hmm. It is uh, deeply concerning to, to the future of our country and the future of our democracy.